Hey guys and gals, this is Alex with Exchange Commercial Real Estate, multifamily broker here in Kansas City. Today is October 23rd, 2023, and I'm covering every single new deal multifamily that's come on the market here in the metro. And as we do every single week, let's take a look here at what's new on LoopNet. So these are the three new properties that LoopNet is showing us as active. There's actually four if you count this one up in Leavenworth. Uh, so let's take a look and dive in. I'm familiar with all of these for various reasons. This particular property here, heart of Midtown, next to a streetcar stop. Um, I've actually got a listing coming up pretty soon in this same kind of location. I've got some other uh, properties as well in, in this area that I'm very familiar with and know about. Um, this building had a fire and uh, it impacted one or two of the units. It's only five units. So it's a fine price per unit, amazing location. It would really depend on the fire damage and the um, insurance claim, et cetera, of what you can get for it or what you can do with it. But it's a cool house to convert it into five, uh, five units. So uh, kind of an interesting deal there. If you're interest, interested in a project for $70,000 a unit, uh, you probably have to put in just as a ballpark throwing it out there, $30,000 a unit on average to get it back to where it needs to be. Um, this could be an interesting uh, property for you. So anyway, if you're interested in a small property that's a project, let's look at that one together and take it down and uh, get you a new property in your portfolio. Next up is Maple Manor. This property has traded several different times over the last couple of years. Uh, very familiar with this property. Um, past brokerages I've worked with and for and all those other kind of things has had this property available. Um, so right now it's listed 40 units at 2.8 million. In the past, historically, there was uh, a good portion that was a Section 8 style or voucher style tenants that were in there. Um, it's in a, a part of independence that I have a lot of off market opportunities for. So that's something we could look at together. If you wanted to get in there and get your hands dirty, we have some other properties in independence that are, in my opinion, better located and in better condition for a fairer price. However, if you like this style and you like section eight, let's look at this together and see what happens. Okay. Another property here we've got, uh, I don't remember if we, we covered it last time or not, but this is in Leavenworth. It's uh, 25 units for 2.75 million. Uh, it has been completely remodeled and redone. It's a historical property. It's kind of a little bit up and out there, uh, but it's a fine property in an interesting location in Fort Leavenworth, which is one of the oldest uh, army bases, I believe. And it also houses the grad school for the army up here. So it's not a, it's not a base that's going anywhere. Uh, it's a kind of a cool river town as well. You can see the river here is right up next to it. So um, anyway, if you're interested in kind of the, the military apartment housing, this is a good opportunity for you here. Okay. Uh, Grandview, we've covered in the past. It's a cool townhouse area location. All these are townhouses. And so there's 40 units. That's uh, three and a half million bucks. Um, interesting opportunity, I think, if you can wrap your mind around some of the CapEx that's needed and the um, location. I like Grand Grandview, and it's just a little bit outside of Grandview, technically, in Kansas City, Missouri, but something we could look at together for sure, okay? So some interesting properties to look at here. Um, you know, happy to help answer any questions that you might have about them and look forward to hearing your feedback on them as well, Okay. So that's it for LoopNet. A couple new opportunities, which is cool to see here in this market. Now let's take a look at what the MLS has powered on Zillow for us. So this is all the new stuff that ML, our local MLS has uh, shows as new opportunities. Again, a couple, at least one familiar face up here. This one right here is a set of properties that um, I've seen and, and have you know essentially had under contract in this area. I'm not saying it was this property, but um, familiar with this area and these properties. It's in Riverside, which is a good, uh, you know, class B area, uh, continuously getting better at all, all the time. You know, good school district, 
uh, you know, cool place to be. All the positives that you look for in the metro. This is this is another growing submarket, like many of the other submarkets here. Uh, so this could be of interest to you. I do think, in my opinion, it's a little bit high on the price per unit side. I believe it's yeah, it's eight units, a um, couple duplexes and a fourplex. So uh, it's an interesting opportunity. Like I said. I think I would crunch the numbers pretty good on it and discover what the CapEx schedule is like. There's a park, there's a lot of nice things about this particular area, but I have seen this property quite a bit. So, um, you know, ask me for any kind of questions you might have and we can take that down uh, together. All right. Another one here, I'm not going to talk about it too much. It's a duplex for $800,000, so $400,000 per unit in the west side. Very popular area, a lot of million dollar, $2 million, $5 million homes up here. This is a duplex. It's been completely redone. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what rents would be on here, but I think it's, it's hard for me to believe that they would be um, in uh, for the $4,000 per unit range. But if you want something that is you know, trophy asset, great location, amazing downtown area, up and coming still with a lot of cool, cool aspects to it. This could be a, a great property for you, okay? And then uh, this is a package of townhouses in, let's get rid of this image here. This is a package of townhouses uh, kind of near, let's see, where is this saying that it's at? Yeah, so this is a package of townhouses that's near KU Med. Um, it's on the Kansas City, Kansas side. It's You guys have seen these fourplexes before. Some or all of them have um, garages, okay? But it is, yeah, five, five townhouses for 850. You can see they look pretty dang nice. Um, I, you know, we don't do a ton of townhouse style transactions. We just feel that, uh, buying an entire building is the way to go. You, there's a lot of, of restrictions you have if you're buying townhouses because of the HOA uh, and some of the other constraints. So we typically recommend against those unless you're getting an amazing deal. So I can't comment on how great of a deal it is, but just in general, not, not, our, favorite, uh, not our favorite asset to get into. Uh, another duplex, you know, here, I think it's a duplex for 1.35 million, but it's on the plaza. So that's something interesting here. It looks like brand new construction or completely remodeled. Um, and then this is a package of single family homes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's everything we've got uh, on the market, on the MLS here in Kansas City and on LoopNet. So other than that, we've got some new listings on our marketplace, which is our off market list. We also have a listing, an actual MLS and LoopNet listing going live this week. So stay tuned to your inbox for that. So you can take a look at it before others do. Um, and uh, there's just a, a several new properties we've got going on that you'll see on our marketplace that I think are very comparable and, and better priced and better located than some of these here. So uh, again, this is Alex Olson, Exchange Commercial Real Estate with the Multifamily Minute. And I look forward to hearing your feedback and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.